Plants come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Plants belong in the plant kingdom. It's also called kingdom plantae. Let's take a look at some common characteristics of this kingdom. The plant kingdom is made up of multicellular eukaryotic organisms. Eukaryotic means that they have a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. They are also autotrophs, which means that they are self-feeders. Plants combine carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight to produce oxygen and glucose in a process called photosynthesis. The glucose is then used to create ATP during cellular respiration. The cells of plants have a cell wall made of cellulose. This cell wall provides protection and shape. Most plant cells have a large central vacuole. There's a huge variety of plants found on Earth. There are roughly 500,000 species of plants. Two major categories are vascular and non-vascular. Vascular plants have vascular tissue that allows them to grow larger in size. There are two types of vascular tissue. Xylem transports water and phloem transports sugar throughout the plant. This allows some vascular plants to grow very large. Non-vascular plants move water by osmosis. This limits the size of non-vascular plants. A very common example would be moss. You can also classify plants into plants with flowers and plants that do not have flowers. Angiosperms are plants that have flowers. They contain a carpal and a stigma style and ovary. Most vegetables and fruits we like to eat are angiosperms. Gymnosperms do not flower and rely on airborne pollen to reproduce. M many trees like pines and fir trees are gymnosperms. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.